This example shows you some basic cache operations supported by grid gains in memory data grid. First, let's start a remote node. From my grid gains home bin directory, I'll run gg start and provide an example config file from my grid gain installation. We've got our node started. Let's start our favorite IDE. Here, I already have a Maven project with a grid gain dependency specified in the palm. Let's create a new class. I'm going to name it Basic Operations. We'll be creating a simple example that will show you various operations to put and partially update values in cache. First, we get an instance of grid by starting a local node here and we specify the same config file that we had specified when we started our remote node. Then we get an instance of named cache, which is specified in our config file. A simple put operation stores a given key value pair in cache and returns the previous value associated with the key. Put methods that end with letter X provide the same functionality as their counterparts. However, they return a boolean instead of returning a previous value, and therefore, these operations provide less network overhead and provide better performance. Gridgen allows for partial data updates in cache that applies a transformation closure and stores the result to the previous value associated with the given key. Partial updates provide much less overhead and better performance whenever your cache values are large and you need to update only a small portion of the value. Let's just print to see the new value for the given key. Save and execute. As expected, the value for key 3 is now transformed. Gridgain also provides data redundancy by allowing users to configure number of backup copies every key should have. In this example, the number of backups is configured to 1. This means that although the local node is now stopped, we still have all our cache entries stored on the remote node. Let's do a simple get to retrieve all our previously stored values from cache. As expected, we do see the values retrieved from our cache. For more information, you can visit our website or join us at Twitter.